children now we will read this chapter to know more about animals because without reading we cannot understand what is there in the chapter we are not able to learn the new words what is there in this chapter so let's start along with that i will explain also read also and we will learn new words also okay chapter number 90 animals are useful buffaloes cows donkeys goats camels and horses are some animals we keep on farms these animals name i read we keep in our farm why they help us in many ways some are giving milk some are carrying loads many ways they are helping us we also keep them in the backyard of our home backyard means back side of our home like cow buffalo some people are making shed and keeping cow buffalo sheep goat you have seen no while going on the road you have seen that that shepherd people they are taking away the this sheep pok of sheep in a to the field for grazing them so some are keeping they are called domestic animals we are keeping at our home so that is why domestic animals we tame them because they are useful to us why we keep with our home they are useful isn't it in many way they help us animal give us food some animals give us food you can see here these animals pictures are given buffalo goat cow they give us milk and from the milk we prepare curd that is dahi we prepare cheese we like it we prepare butter ghee paneer many items we can prepare from the milk which animals gives us cow goat buffalo they are giving us okay animals like cow goat and buffalo give us milk we make curd butter khoya ghee cream paneer cheese from milk that is why they are useful because we can make many types of food items from milk so this is page number 107 completed now page number 108 you can see the picture of these animals they are also help helpful they are birds but it can be included in animals hens geese and ducks give us eggs and from eggs cake omelet pastry can be prepared which are very tasty and you all like it isn't it some people are non vegetarian non vegetarian means they eat only fish chicken eggs this thing they are called non vegetarian and vegetarian are that people who eat only plant and plant products like sabzi milk egg chicken fish they do not eat so some people are non vegetarian they eat the flesh of animals like goat chicken sea animals like fish crab prawn are also eaten as she see food they are called non vegetarian because they like to eat on the flesh of these animals isn't it we get honey and wax from the beehive honey we get from beehive and wax mumbatti jise bolte hai wax that also we get from beehive this blue part exercise we will do after us first let me complete the reading Now move on to 109 page. You can see animals give us clothes. Directly animals are not giving us clothes. We have to make like sheep. They give us wool. How? Their hair on the bodies are cut, and from that hair we make wool. And from that wool, different woolen clothes can be prepared. Fur is the hair of that grow on the body of animals like rabbit goat yak sheep we use it to make woolen clothes now you can see this silk worm this is a insects it make a cocoon and inside the cocoon 
with their mouth one type of juice is coming out that turns into silk thread and from the silk thread we make silk clothes we get silk from silkworms it is a fine soft fiber and used to make silk clothes okay now see the these items these are leather made item how we get this we make leather from the skin of dead animals animals which are not alive that their skin also taken out and from that skin people make this type of items which are they jacket shoes bags belts etc from leather animals give us manure and fuels you have seen that cow dung people make cow dung cake and they use for it for burning and cooking you have seen many old people are giving manure to the soil for the plant that is also we get from plants the dung of cow like cows buffaloes horses and camels are used as manure which is very good for plants dry dung also used as fuel i told you na cow dung cake they are making round in shape and that is used for cooking isn't it burning and cooking now these animal are helpful for growing crops also animals help us to grow crops how animals such as oxen help us to draw water from wells plow the field and thresh the grains these animals are used to plow the field and threshing grains and drawing water from the wells they are help helpful animals as means of transport that means they carry heavy loads and passenger also animals like horses camels mules elephants are used for carrying loads these animals are called beasts of burden animals that carry loads and passenger they are called beast of burden they are also used as means of transport from one place to another they help to move things also and us us this is 109 page over now turn on to 110 page yes other things from animals what are the other things we get from animals yes in the life class i have discussed camel is known as the sheep of the desert yes because camel can move on the desert very freely because of his body structure yes and it can live without water many days because it can store water in its hump that is why camel is called sheep of the desert and people of the desert place use camel as means of transport so pollen feathers of some birds and horns and hooves horns means jise aap hindi mein sheep bolte and hooves means in the animals like black color things you have seen hard one that is called hooves of some dead animals are used for making many things that horns and hooves also used for making many things from the feather you can see pillow can be made and from the hooves and horns comb this chess you were playing no this or this chess board that dice also can be prepared animals as pet some animals like cat dog and parrot are kept as pet at home we should take good care of our pets and be kind to them and picture is showing there how the boy is taking care of dog so we should also be more sensitive towards animal because most of the animals are our friend they help us in many way but some of the animals are dangerous that's why they live in the forest so this is all about this chapter reading we have learned many things related to this chapter and now it's time to learn some new words related to this chapter so see all of you observe here number 1 domestic d o m e s t i c domestic
stick down this time. Buffalo. B. F. F. A. L. O. Buffalo. Cheese. If you prepare from him. C. H. Double E. S. E. Cheese. Vegetarian. V. E. G. E. Vegetarian. V. A. R. I. A. N. Vegetarian. People who eat only plants product. And here. B. High. B. Double E. B. H. I. B. High. Where? Honey leaves and store honey jacket J A C K E T jacket it is made from leathers of dead animal leather L E A T H E R leather, leather. transport T R A N S trans T O R T boat transport some animals are used as transport manure M A N U R E manure the dung of animals are used as a manure that is very good for plants. Horns that is two horns. Animals are having no H O R N E S horns. Hoops H W O O P S. The leg part, black part of the leg of the animals is called are called hooves. Desert where everywhere we can see the sand. B E S E R T desert. Camel is called the ship of the desert. Okay. Feathers. F E A T H E R S. Feathers. Feathers we get from birds. Birds that is the pollen feathers are used to make pillow also. No? Cloud. P L O U G S. Cloud. Some animals are used to plow the field so that. Crops can be grown easily, isn't it? Oxen are used to plow the field. So this is all about this reading of this chapter and new words of this chapter. Watch the video. Reading practice you have to do and you have to learn all these strategies. Okay?